a resolution that would have approved an $88,000 contract to Coyote builders and developers for emergency snow removal was tabled at Wednesday's West New York Board of Commissioners meeting. Commissioner Count Wiley began by explaining that the bill was way too high, and since the town already had a contract with this particular company, a compromise should be sought over the final cost of the bill. I just want to explain uh, something that happened with the snow removal. And it's important to me because I really loved that DPW when I was there. Um, when it comes to snow removal, we're supposed to be bid out for this job like every year, okay? So in other words, in case of emergency, there's big amounts of snow that have to be removed out of West New York. It can become very costly, okay? Right now, we're facing a bill for $88,000 for that snow removal that they removed the snow out of town. That, to me, it sounded very high. I was a little shocked to hear that number. Um, it's like anything else. When you call for an emergency, whether you call a plumber, it costs you another $120 an hour just for him being on an emergency. And that's what they're classifying this into now is an emergency. Um, Coyote Builders and Developers is the company that they decided to use. When you go for a bid for anything, whether it's like, for example, our towing contract, the towing contract requires that you have the machinery to operate and do this particular job, the tone, whether it's storage space, so many required uh, car spaces, etc. And and the same thing actually goes for it, for a snow removal. Bit. You're supposed to have your own machinery. Um, you're supposed to have proof of that machinery to the clerk, whether your licenses, the registrations to all your vehicles, whether you have enough dump trucks, whether you have enough hand motors to remove the snow. And this emergency contract is just given to somebody. It's a conflict of interest to me because Coyote Builders, again, is already contracted with our town. As far as a contractor for electrical, plumbing, and whatever little repairs need to be made to <coughs> the public buildings here in Western. Oh. Right? And I and I, I really am very upset when I found that out. That we should negotiate with this gentleman. Let's get him to uh, go down. And let's pay let's pay let's pay what we should be paying, not being abused. And I think you're in a position to do that, being that we are contracting with this gentleman already in the town. And I don't see I don't see why that shouldn't happen. But that's my uh, opinion to the commissioners. If you'd like to pull this from the agenda, I think it'd be a great idea to possibly work this price down. But eighty-eight thousand dollars is an abuse to the rest of it, especially the tax rate. Business Administrator Joe DeMarco explained that the emergency resolution was necessary due to an equipment shortage for snow removal. Right. With regards to the one day the plow was used, uh, because of the number of storms, uh, several of our plow trucks uh, wound up in the mechanic shop with broken plows and broken pieces. So on that last storm, I forget which one, uh, the bigger one in February, we were actually short of plow and we couldn't keep up. So uh, we bought him in for that reason. Uh, so that's why there's a plow in there. That's not the norm, but the back-to-back -back storms were not the norm. Just for the record, uh, last year we did not use any outside heavy equipment, nor did we do it in 2012. Commissioner Fiordializa Frias agreed and suggested the bill should be tabled for now until a more cost-efficient resolution could be reached. Tobarco had no problem with the notion, and the ordinance was eventually tabled by a unanimous vote. What other options we have because you know what, it makes sense to go back and see you know how we can save some money. Okay. Although we already did the work, with, with your let's go with the bill. Let's review the bill one more time. Okay. Okay. Five votes to table R19. I'm John Hytus, Hudson County TV, West New York.